Are you looking for a quick and easy way to display articles on your website or your blog? That's what we're going to cover today. My name is Krishna Day. You'll find me online at krishnaday.com and also at facebook.com forward slash Krishna Day. A question I was asked recently was how to quickly display content on a blog. Somebody had appeared in a publication and they wanted to add that content over to their website. Because this person wasn't technical, I found that the easiest way to demonstrate what they could do was using a tool called SlideShare. So let me just run you through 10 quick tips about how you will do this as well. You're going to go to slideshare.net and create your account. You can take a premium account out or alternatively you can have a free account. Make sure that you're careful with how you actually reflect your brand, your business or your name personally in your account. Secondly, you're then going to upload your document. I'm here on my slideshare account and I'm now going to upload a document. The document is in a PDF format and I do have the rights to be able to share the content. It's something that I've created. When you're uploading the document, you can actually then add in a great title, something that people might look for. It's got your keywords in. You can add tags. You can put it in a particular category and also put a description in about the content that you've uploaded. You'll also see you can upload it privately if you'd prefer. A few things to note as you've uploaded your document. You actually will be able to come back and replace a presentation at a later date if you wish to do so. You can see how to do that right at the top. You could also upload an audio, an MP3, and synchronize that with your slides. That's called creating a slide cast. And also you can insert a YouTube video as well. You're going to get an opportunity here to say, do you want people to be able to download your content? And you can also see here about the background of the player. I've just got mine set at white. And then you can decide whether or not you want people to be able to access your content in terms of making changes to it. So you can say all rights reserved or you want an attribution. But say, for example, I want an attribution with no derivatives, but I might actually want, not want people to use this commercially. So I could then set attribution, which means people have to reference me if they're going to use this content or embed it on their site. They also need to say they can't use it for a commercial reason and they can't make any other permutations of the content. Whatever changes you make, you can then very quickly update it. Alternatively, of course, you could delete it. When you look at your presentation on SlideShare, over time, you'll be able to see the number of people who viewed it, how many favorites it's received, how many embeds you've got of that document where people have taken it and embedded it onto their own site. And also you can use these other buttons to actually then share it to your social networks, which of course is going to boost the number of views. People can leave comments and obviously then you can come back and actually leave feedback there in terms of the, their comments. So the next thing we want to do is take the embed code from here. So if you click on embed, you're going to then go to the area, say customization and perhaps you don't want to have information there with, without related content. You're going to set the size that you want that publication to be, so you know the size of your web page. Where do you want the slide to start from in terms of any particular page? I'm going to have that start from page one. And then you have the codes you can add into your blog. And so I'm just going to take my code here. Mine's not a WordPress.com blog, so I've taken the second lot of code. On your blog, make sure you've got a good compelling title, you put your keywords in, and then in the HTML editor, you just need to turn that on, post the code that you've taken from SlideShare into there. And there you see it, your publication is embedded on your website or blog. If you've got questions about how to boost your online visibility and questions about social media and digital marketing, do come on over and leave me your questions at facebook.com forward slash Krishna Day.